Okay, for this simple but very powerful little card effect, you need six pairs of cards that the spectator can remember. So a good way to go is to choose six pairs of companion cards. Now companion cards are just cards of the same value and the same color. Okay. Now once the spectator has chosen those, you can have them pick them up in whatever order they would like. So just stack the pairs in some random order. And then we're going to uh, mix the cards. We're going to do an LR shuffle, left, right. And have the spectator decide kind of how to stack those. Okay, left on right, that's very good. And now we're going to perform what's called a Charlier shuffle. Now I have a separate video on this Charlier shuffle. It's kind of a bottom to top, top to bottom sort of shuffle. Uh, you can also have the spectator just cut the cards. And now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can work some magic with the Klondike Shuffle. And what we're hoping here is that uh, when we Klondike Shuffle pairs of cards to the table, they'll be the very pairs that we started with. So let's see how we do. So Klondike Shuffle is where you take the bottom and top card off as one. Oh, okay, that, that didn't work. Oh, that's not a pair. Okay, that's uh, three fails in a row. Uh, a fourth. <laughs> uh, fifth. And we got none of them. Now, wait a second. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I left out a very, very important step. How could I forget this? What you have to do is you have to hold the packet kind of in the center there. And then you have to rotate it 180 degrees counterclockwise. If you do that, then everything will work. I forgot that step. I apologize for that. So let's see how we do now. Yeah, I should have remembered that step. That's the magical step that makes the whole crazy thing work. Don't forget that step. And this will work for you every time.